What are you doing? We fouled it. What are you doing down there? Fouled, not farted. Thought I was barking. Uh -oh. Welcome back to the video, guys. To to the, the videos, the videos, video, guys. guys. Today we are here with Paisley and Justice in the Mark 8. It's getting cold and dark outside earlier, so we are in the shop today. It is no secret that the, uh, the Mark 8 manual transmission is uh, fairly lackluster and does not provide great driver feedback from the factory. We've done a couple things to fix that already, but today we have a short shifter. This is going to, I believe, decrease the throw for up to 35% of the stock throw. Um, it's a little bit on the conservative side compared to other products out there, such as, uh, I think, Diesel Geek and um, the, the Holy Shift kit. But we're going to kind of eyeball the distance between the shift so far on the stock setup. And then we will go ahead, go through the process of installing this. Fairly straightforward, fairly simple. Uh, shouldn't take you very long at all. And then we will compare the throws. So, shall we get started? Shall you throw it first? Yeah. Can I get a throw Let's first? start throwing. Yeah, throw Let's, first. Let's just throw it. Throw it. Let's just throw it. Gently. Sweet. So, we are in the driver's seat of the market. Clutch in. This is going to be our stock neutral position. This should not change with this short shifter. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. So you can watch that fulcrum point move across. We are hoping with this short shifter kit to accomplish a little bit of a reduction, which will save you time between shifts on a daily driven car. What you're doing it for is the feeling, not necessarily the actual reduction in throw, but to each their own. So we're gonna head back over to the engine bay. We are now back at the engine bay. So if you come over here, there is your stock shifter arm, whatever you wanna call it. it looks like a boomerang. This is what we're going to be removing today. It only fits in one way. There are splines right there. One section, that section right there, has quite a big gap. And that's how you are going to know where this thing sits. We will not have to readjust the actual shifter itself for this. If you do something like the Holy Shift kit, you will have to readjust the shifter. That requires removing the center console this does not, so this is going to be a little bit less time consuming, a little bit easier if this is one of your first mods. Um, yeah, so let's get started. Sorry, Paisley would not stop yelling. She wanted to talk to you guys too, but like I said, super easy, pretty straightforward. What we're going to do now is I'll flip you around and show you, is disconnect the cable that runs to the actual shifter itself. So if you come down in here, Let's zoom in. We'll zoom in one more time. That guy has to come off. And the way that that works is that blue portion, you're going to pop up and slide towards, well, you guys, if you're watching the video. So you'll pop this guy up just like so, slide it back. Probably easier with a flathead or while you're not holding a camera. So I'll go ahead, I'll get that done and we'll resume from there. And this is exactly how that guy looks. Pretty simple, straightforward little design, but definitely gets the job done. Set that off in a safe place because you will need that again with this kit. Come back down, slide our shifter end off. Try and put it in a safe place. If you can, just tuck it down like so, out of the way. You're not going to hurt it down there. And then what we have left is this guy. It looks like either a 14 or a 13 millimeter. I'll grab that real quick. This should hopefully break loose, pop up. And then along with our short shifter, we have two different selections here. One's going to be, I think, a 25% reduction. 
the other is a 35. Saw it, dude. Oh. I couldn't find the box. So, what the CTS short shifter gives you is uh, very simple, very easy, and very minimal. You get two different selector shafts, and that's going to be for either Volkswagen or Audi. It works with different sized selector bushings. Um, we'll figure out which one of those ours is. We'll pop this guy off, find our selector rod itself, put the new one on, and uh, actually show you the difference in throw. I can now confirm that that is a 13 millimeter. So we'll just pop this guy on there, break it loose, and pull her right off. Just like that, she's off. Now, hoping this guy does not uh, give us too much trouble. Sometimes these can get stuck, be a real pain in the butt to get off. Um, I'm going to try just kind of popping it up first and then uh, if that doesn't work we'll go from there we got that out i uh watched deutsch auto parts video on the holy shift kit because this was kind of being a pain in the butt anyways we got them both here as you can see there's kind of a difference in thickness this one weighs probably about two or three times as much as this guy so probably get a little bit more feel it'll be a little bit more effort to throw into gear like I said, these only go on one way. Let's figure out our uh, shifter bushing pin size. And that way we don't put the wrong one on with our supplied rods here by uh, CTS. So like I said, there are two different sizes. There is a bigger and a smaller. That is going to depend on if you are Volkswagen or if you are Audi, I believe. That is the way it was explained to me. These are gonna be your two guys. So a very noticeable difference in that uh, shifter bushing size. Smaller guy it is. We'll go ahead. We will actually set this on there first. This is important. Your other shifter arm that is vertical actually rotates and slides through this. So make sure when you're putting it on, you get that lined up. That way you can still select your gears or else you'll be stuck in uh, third and fourth. I'm gonna go ahead, get this on, get this lined up, and then we will actually go through, I believe this is going to be our shortest throw option, the 35% uh, reduction. And uh, remember this only goes on one way, so if it's fighting you, probably not supposed to go on the way you're putting it on. We've got that all put back together, ready to go. I've got to put the air back, air back, air box back on. It's just another pretty billet piece you're not going to see. Just like our IE turbo muffler delete. But we'll actually get a little bit of a satisfaction out of this. I'm going to go ahead and jump in the car real quick. Just give her a feel. Oh, that's noticeable. It's kind of hard to go into neutral. Much notchier, definitely a better feeling. I think the only way for you to get a more solid shift with this specific kit would be to change out those rubber shifter bushings themselves that actually sit on the cables. You can do that. I've done it on my Mark VI um, when I had that car and it actually did help quite a bit. So like I said, throw the air box back together and uh, wrap everything up, put tools away and show you the difference in throw. I'll put back together here, throw the hood down, pick up the last little bit of tools I got, and I'll go grab Justice so she can hold the camera, and uh, we can actually get a shot of the throw. Actually, let's, uh, let's see if you can tell the difference just from me holding the camera, because it is very noticeable in your hand difference. Okay, so we got our shift knob. That is literally all the throw. 
that's neutral. First, second, third, fourth. Finding neutral is a little bit more difficult because it just kind of wants to go into gear now. But nice notchy feeling, that'll be good. I'm gonna take the drive home and tell you what I think about afterwards. So far, so good, no complaints other than uh, that stock shift arm being kind of a pain in the butt to get out. To give you a comparison, just like the video we had earlier, or earlier on in this video, that's three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, quite a bit shorter, quite a noticeable change. Sounds clunkier. It is. It is notchier, not not clunkier. It sounds clunky. You're clunky. Huh? Your reverse work? Yeah. Nice. Sweet. All right. So like I said, drive home. I'll give you my thoughts on it. Well, guys, it is the next day. I know I said I would get back to you last night, but I wanted a little bit more time with the shifter itself. And I have one complaint. So I'll flip you around. I'll show you what I'm going to be talking about. But other than this single complaint, it's a really, really decent shifter for uh, the money. It was like a hundred bucks. I think it's $108. Let me flip you around. Let me show you. So this is great. One, two, three, four. And then if you try and do your traditional four to five shift, it doesn't really like it. So instead you have to go four diagonal and then it goes in, which just takes some getting used to, but, but if you're not used to it, you're not expecting it kind of goofy and it doesn't feel very confidence inspiring. Porsche. Well, with that being said, that's where I'm going to end today's video. It's very nice, notchy, and decent for the money. I think if you switch to the little bit longer throw, it would fix that problem. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. I will catch you next time. We're trying to hit 900 by the end of the year. Help me out. Help us out. Let's grow a little bit. We've been doing awesome. Anyways, without further ado, I'll shut up now. We'll catch you next time. Bye.